Hi guys, today I painted a roaring bear. I placed him in raspberry composition. Since I decided to paint him a brown color, I also thought that will be nice to add some more colors. And what could be better than fresh and juicy berry? I'm starting with the top and bottom jaws and then I'm just going around them adding more layers for eyes and for the head itself. This video was inspired by my face painting friend from Poland. Her surname in Polish is Bear, so she was asking me to paint a bear for her at one of the party that we were together. So that's the picture that we bought, uh, that I painted for her. And then I also promised to do a small video to how to do a bear. This one is a bit different. It's more like heart shape and the one that I painted initially was a bit more squarish and if you wanted uh, the bear to look more angry it would be uh, probably better to do the square shape of the face and the muzzle itself. While my bear is drying I need to add something else around it and that actually looks better when um, there is something more than just one element. So I'm adding berries, I'm adding leaves By the way, I'm working with one brush only, the one flat brush. I think it's size number 10. Well, actually in the brush it says uh, half inch uh, and the brand is American Painter. Uh, but um, I've got a few brushes similar size and they are 10. I forgot to add a tongue when I was painting the berries itself and I would use the same color just to go inside and, um, and just paint it in. Okay, next thing I'm outlining everything with black and then highlighting and the same what I did with berries, just first added darker spots, then added highlights and then maybe even more highlights. And while I remember, I would like also to invite you to the group One Stroke Beauty, where uh, where you can see lots of one stroke uh, designs, not only by me, but uh, by other amazing artists, some to video tutorials. And also I have placed at the top of this group uh, in announcements, the, uh, the artists that are painting in one stroke um, technique, and then you're free to add um, 
another add your options the artists that inspire you in one stroke or vote on those uh, whom you already like and they are already here and uh, this is kind of a chart and of inspiration for you if you're looking for some inspiration you can always look through this artist and um, and be inspired shadows over his eyes it's uh, more optional you can just add an angry eyebrows but I found that they do have this kind of darker um, triangular pieces over their eyes so I thought I'll just add this as well if you were watching more of my videos you would notice that I like to smudge with my finger a lot and I do this on the job as well that's the the fastest tool that <laughs> that's always with me i have 10 of them and i just have um, wet cloth or something to wipe them off and then start using them again While painting this picture, I was taking my time, I was watching a movie and I had a tripod over the top of the picture, it wasn't very comfortable to paint it, so you see it's not very fast, but generally it will be probably, it will take the whole design for about 5 minutes I would say. Also thinking of different compositions with this bear, I was thinking of a fish, of the abstract elements around it, with some stencils around it. Um, so it could be um, designed with many different things around it. And I'm really curious to see what you think, guys. Um, do you have your own ideas? What would you like um, to, to place it together with a bear? Um, you can write your comments down below, I'd love to see that and also I would love to see your pictures. If you've been inspired and you do a picture or you try this design, please do tag me somewhere in medias, in our wide internet, I'm probably everywhere, Facebook, Instagram and so on. So uh, please do tag me and I would love to see what you've done. If you would like to see more of my works, not only one stroke but also collaborations, uh, tutorials, um, transformations, you are welcome to follow me also on Instagram as Ulianka Arti. And of course I will be very glad if you follow me here as well on YouTube. I have another video already recorded for the YouTube and um, hopefully to get to edit it soon. By the way, these details are already kind of addition, they are not needed, uh, but uh, it's just adding this 3D look. I've added eyes, as you see, I hate uh, painting like somebody with empty eyes, so I normally would add it. Uh, some saliva on his um, tongue. <laughs> And if you're wondering why he's still roaring, that's because some of you still hasn't subscribed to me yet. So please hit the subscribe button, this like button, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!